So, let's drink some coffee while it finishes. What's up guys and good morning. So today we're gonna be actually printing, or I'm not printing, CNCing a frame. And it's a frame from one of my subscribers. He built a Floss Remix. And what I'm gonna do is I've even made another remix of it, which is a three inch, because I don't have five millimeter or four millimeter carbon fiber, but we can make a nice little three inch in, with three millimeter carbon fiber for the arms. And I've been modifying it all morning. So we're gonna see how well that's gonna play out. So it's pretty interesting. Right now I got the cutting profile finished for the uh, arms, as you can tell right there. So I'm about to export it. And I just came to find out that that small laptop's battery was dead because it was on all night. And uh, currently it's just charging because if I just run it like this, then it'll just take years for it to do anything. So right now we're gonna start cutting the arms and then possibly build it. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so now everything is loaded as you can tell right here. We do have the, uh, I've zeroed in everything. And we also do have the cutting profiles. You can see there's the arm, so we should make two of those. And uh, this is gonna be a little bit different because now what we have to do is we have to change two tool tips. So it's two millimeters and then we're gonna go to three millimeters. I have these really expensive German ones here. Uh, we're gonna test these out and also have some cheap Chinese ones I got that we're gonna test those out probably on the second arm. I think that'll be a really nice reference. I think that's what we'll do. Kind of like a, just a mini review of end mill basically. So, let's drink some coffee while it finishes. Okay, so first, at first glance, what I can tell you is that the tabs didn't work. So it fell through. That's nice though. Get pink because I needed some. So it's not really a big problem. So let's take a look at this. I think this is the best cuts I've ever made in my life, possibly. Wow, it looks really nice. Wow. 
Okay, so I see a small issue that I forgot to set up here. And I'll show you that in a bit. Man, the cuts are better than these Chinese stuff. Wow. So I did 100 millimeters per minute at 10,000 RPM with a three millimeter uh, thingy majigger. And the plunge rate was also 100. Now the tabs didn't go through because the Z axes, uh, I think I cut the tabs because I wasn't calibrated correctly. But look at this, it's really, really nice. Remember how we cut the holes earlier? So this is the three millimeter carbon. So I think the three millimeter carbon is better than the two millimeter carbon because the holes came out really good. And I, what I did was the same thing as yesterday, the boring 100 millimeters a second, that looked great. So that's what I used. And it's actually really nice. This is really awesome. And it's really strong. I didn't expect, I thought it was gonna be pretty flimsy. But that is pretty goddamn strong. Look at it, it's so nice, it's so tiny. Kebab, if you want one, hit me up, I'll send you one. Uh, they're really nice. <laughs> so cool. All right, I'm gonna finish making my coffee and we'll start cutting the second one. I'll skip the second one and then we'll go to the top plate and bottom plate. So this is what we have currently, which is pretty nice. Now the standoffs are too long. I will find different standoffs and as well as, uh, the reason why I use these basically is because I had these 3D printed part with another frame, but we could remove them. So let's take a closer look at the carbon here. So I'm gonna start taking it apart. Now, as I'm taking it apart, you can already tell here that I screwed up with the cutting profile on the top plate, but that's totally fine. And I also had another issue, which I'll show you right now. Uh, it has to do with the bottom plate. Now the bottom plate, remember, I don't know if you remember, but I had my GoPro connected and there was that little metal piece sticking out, the little handle. So that hit the edge of the bed and it kind of simulated like a binding issue, but it wasn't really a binding issue. It was more of a skipping issue that it got caught and it skipped steps and everything got misaligned. Let me actually show you that right here. So this is the first bottom plate that I've cut. And I didn't record the second one basically, but what you can see here is you can see the hole up here and then why is the hole down here? And everything just got misaligned here because what was going on is I think it was cutting it out like this. And when it got to here and then it went to move so it can cut this hole, the little metal piece got stuck on the bed and it thought it actually moved here, but it actually didn't. So everything else was misaligned. And uh, this was a really bad cut and I also had the wrong cutting profile for this. So yeah, this is going to go basically to the trash or we can use it later on for some kind of a just, you know, it's a, you, we could reuse this, this for something later on. Now, if we take a closer look here, uh, one arm came out better than the other due to the Z axis, which is this one here. This arm came out really great. Now you see that scratch there. That's from me when I had it down and then I moved it manually. That's why that got scratched right there. So actually zoom in a little so you can see it. But the cuts look really good. The holes are absolutely gorgeous now if we take a look at the back side too they came out really great almost perfect but um and you can see that it's really soft really smooth to the touch i'm not afraid of getting any splinters so this was a really nice cutting profile and the cutting profile here was the plunge rate was at uh, 100 millimeters per minute and the feed rate which is the, f the speed it was moving was 120 millimeters per minute and uh, it was doing really nice. And I think the drop, you know, how, how far to drop for each pass was around 1.75 millimeters. So it would drop 1.75 millimeters, cut around, drop again 1.75 millimeters. I wanted to do this in two cuts since it's three millimeter. So it came out really nice. As you can tell here, uh, this can be filed down there. I think this was the last piece that was connected before it fell off basically. But other than that, it looks really nice. And you could see possibly those white spots that I was talking about earlier. Those, those, those are just from those sh the shitty carbon. But um, other than that, this is really great. It's really rigid for how small it is, which is pretty crazy. And the accuracy is just perfect. I'm actually holding two right now, by the way. See? It's, it's, it's just insane. I love this machine. Um, the second one came out a bit rough, more rough than this. I had to file a little bit of it down. 
But let's take a closer look at the holes here. Uh, this one, what I did instead is I kind of increased the speed just to get it to cut a little bit quicker. And I shouldn't have done that because that seemed to be the sweet spot. Uh, because you can tell here from the, the holes, this is where it exited. And you can kind of see that it's not as clean. And you can see the edges here. And the, the edges here are totally fine. You get a file and then just sand it down. Obviously, I'm not selling these. These are, This is just you know for, for practice and uh, just for fun. So, and uh, if we take a look at, this is the bottom plate here. So the upper side looks pretty good. It needs some filing right there. Uh, the reason for that is I also had a wrong uh, cutting profile. I had the speed set to 1,200 millimeters per minute uh, by accident. I added an extra zero instead of 120. So I didn't catch it on this one. Even though it did cut, it's cut pretty good that fast, but um, it's not very ideal. It'll, it'll, it's just, it just wasn't good, obviously, as you can tell here. The white spots, this is what I was talking about, the cheap carbon. So just ignore these. And you can see this is the bottom side currently. It wasn't really the cleanest because I went a bit too aggressive with the cutting profile on this. The top side looks pretty great, uh, but I went really aggressive on this one. And uh, because I had the wrong cutting profile again. Well, that came out pretty good uh, for what I'm going to be using it for. And here also, this one had a the good cutting profile. However, what happened is there was a lot of play. I didn't have this secured because it had, it had like a weird mounting position. So there was a lot of play and that did affect quite a lot of the cuts here, as you can tell. And again, this these could be just a file down and you won't even notice these. So it's not really a big issue. There isn't any big problems <laughs> here. I forgot to uh, tell it to go right through this stuff. But um, anyways, it's okay. I didn't want to, you know, there is a way to fix this, but it's too much of a headache to actually do. I'm just gonna leave it just like that. It's totally fine for the use case. So I'm really curious to see how well this is gonna fly. So overall, it was really fun. If you guys like this, let me know. And if you guys have any frames designed, you guys wanna see cut and flown, send them my way. That'll be pretty awesome. I'll be more than happy to do it. I did get a couple frames so far. So these are obviously not going for sale. Maybe I give one or two weight for my Patreons from these if I cut a little bit more of them. Um, but other than that, these are just, you know, for practice and just for fun. And I really hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video. And please let me know down in the comment section if this is something you like watching, if I should continue this route with some of my content. And in the next video, I'll probably be building this with the Run Cam Robin, also the Ori 32 stack, which I tested, which is one of the best 20 by 20 stacks and some brother hobby motors that are 1407. And we'll see how well this thing performs. Now, this is a really light quad. The arms here are like six, six uh, grams, which is pretty crazy and i'll have linked everything down below if you could check those out those greatly support the channel and also do have a patreon if you can support me there that'd be super great it'll keep this content growing help me get more carbon fiber and just do some awesome cool things and i really hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one peace out